Free response question numero dos. The table on the right shows the population of a city in thousands. In thousands. So this actually means one million in the real world. You get the idea. What is an exponential model that fits the data? So this is exponential. And what we're going to have to do is we're going to use our calculator, our TI-84 plus calculator, to do an exponential regression problem. So let's go off to the side. Let's do part A by using exponential regression. Now, before I do that, let's take a look at B. B and C are going to have us use that equation. So not only am I going to find the equation, I'm going to store the equation. So make sure you watch the video and see how I do both of those. All right, so if we're going to do exponential regression, we have to plug some points into our calculator. So let's go to stat. Let's go to edit. The left side is going to be 0 through 5, so that's a 1. Bad start by me. 0 through 5, like so. And then we just type in the numbers that we're given. Uh, don't make a typo, otherwise everything's going to blow up. So this is me just making sure I don't make a mistake. This would be a good time for you to drop a comment, say how much you love me, how great I am, all of that stuff. Uh... What else can I tell you to do during this time? Uh, like and subscribe, I guess. I don't know. Don't watch Khan Academy. <laughs> I need an enemy. That's what I need. 1284.03. So I think I'm all right. I think I'm all good with all of these numbers. Just scrolling through. I don't see any glaring mistakes or mistakes at all. All right. So... This is my information. Looking at B and C, not only am I going to find out part A, which is what's the equation, but B and C are going to be asking you to use that equation to get future info. So yes, I'm going to do the stat thing. Yes, I'm going to go to calc. Yes, I'm going to go down to zero, which is exponential regression. And yes, I'm going to hit enter. But before I hit calculate, I'm going to go down to store reg EQ and save this equation for later use. So the way I do that is, yeah, I go down to store reg EQ, I hit vars, go to y vars, enter, enter, and now when I calculate this guy, it's going to store it under y equals, which will help me with part B and part C. But first I need to come up with my equation, which is, you've got to be kidding me, <laughs> almost a thousand, but .002 away, and yes... It's AP pre-calc, and we have to round to three decimal places. So yeah, this will be 999.998 times 1.051 to the X. So I'm going to go off and write that out. So for part A, after all of that, we got this awfully, awfully close equation of Y equals 999.998. That's a 9. Uh, times 1.051 to the X. All right. So there you have that. What will the population be after 50 years? Well, let's go to the calculator and see what happens when time is 50 and what number we get. Keeping in mind, this is in thousands, so I'm going to have to do a little converting. Now, part B here is asking me to find the population after 50 years. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to hit second. I'm going to hit table because it won't take me forever to scroll down to 50 if I just hold the button down like so. Like so. Now, the number that I see here is 12,182.673674. Now, the original problem is in thousands. So I'm not going to write out 12,182.6 whatever. I'm going to make sure I convert that into thousand, which is thousands, because this is in thousands. So that's going to be one million or twelve million one hundred eighty-two thousand. Blah de blah de blah blah de blah de blah. All right. So uh, yeah, that's how we do that guy right there. All right. So the number that I got was twelve thousand one hundred eighty-two. Don't blink. Get it? Uh, six seven four. Now, turning that into thousands is me multiplying this by a thousand or just moving my decimal place over right three times to get 12182674. 12,182,674. Okay? So that's going to be my population after 50 years. How long will it take for the population to reach 1.5 million? Well, that's 1,500. 
according to this chart. So, you know, we're kind of along the way, but I want to use my calculator to find out when I will hit this 1500 or 1 1.5 million mark. So let's go do that and see what happens. The last step is for me to find out how long it takes to get me to 1.5 million, which is 1,500. So that doesn't take too long in the initial process, I believe. Like not long at all, at all. There we are. So somewhere around year nine, right? Eight and a half-ish year nine. But if I wanna be really specific, this is what I need to do. I'm gonna hit Y equals Okay, there's the equation that I had before. I'm going to set this equal to 1,500, which represents 1 1.5 million. Okay, I'm going to hit graph and see absolutely nothing because those numbers are huge. So let's go back and remind ourselves, all right, well, if Y is going to be 1,500, then what I really need to do is go to my window. And knowing that this is going to happen somewhere around the 8, 9 area, I'm going to set my Y minimum. Since I wanted 1,500, I'm going to set it to 1,400 with a max at 1,600. And so when I hit graph, I'm going to see that horizontal line right in the middle there. Okay, and so here it is later in the problem where they intersect. I need to find out exactly when they intersect. So I can say 8 point whatever years. So I hit second, calc, intersect. Okay. I'm going to go right a bunch of times until it appears like at eight point whatever. That, there we are. Okay. So I'm going to hit enter for the first curve. I'm going to go right a little bit. Hit enter for the second curve. And guess, always hit enter, intersection of 8.109. So that's going to be my answer. 8.109 years. So somewhere in February, whatever. But we're just going to say 8.109. So the year we got was 8.109. So years, let's just make sure we say years, uh, and that'll do it. So, yeah, that's uh, Exponential Regression, boys and girls. Lots of fun, lots of fun, lots of fun.